Oh, gee, this is what I like to see, buddy. Look at that. Oh, man. What are we doing? We are... Look at that little guy. Where's my finger? I hate trying to look through this thing. This is my uh, awful attempt at cinematography. This is your new... One of your new playload resistors for your phase inverter. Those things typically open up and then you get no sound. So uh, we're in the midst of doing an initial power up. Look at those nice little wire bundles. Buddy, I mentioned this uh, yesterday, but you are going green with these zip ties. I was just feeling it. Usually I go purple, but you know, today's, today's one of those days. So I've uh, twisted and bundled all the uh, wires coming out of the, the secondary of your power transformer and rerouted some of the other noisy wires to uh, places that are less prone to pick up stray interference. So let's kick this puppy off and see what we can do. So I have a setup here. We're gonna be monitoring bias across both tubes. We wanna make sure that um, both tubes are sharing the, the negative uh, current or voltage equally and one's not Pardon me. One's not getting more than the other. But these are balanced tubes, and we want to make sure that the circuit is balanced as well. So, here we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set you up for uh, bias at, we'll say, 120 wall volts. Let's get you in there. Power light just kicked on. Let's get you set up at 120. There we go. And down. There we go. So the meters are lighting up here. And you can see that this is this lady's first rodeo with respect to bias adjustments. This bit of paint here is an indicator. There's none of a chip, by the way, that no one's actually adjusted this. So it'll be interesting to see what you think. All right, so for now, Get her down to about uh, 26, 27 at 419 plate volts. And we'll just let her burn in for a few minutes. And then we'll be right back. And we're warming back up. I just wasn't getting the range I wanted out of the bias adjustment pot. So I tweaked the uh, supply resistor so that this this tube set, and the JJ's, um, the way these are running, they're all pretty consistent. So with the bias right in the middle, it, it's putting your tubes right at 60% max plate dissipation, which is a sweet spot for these amps. And you can see they're pretty closely matched. Just a little bit, a bit of wiggle out of the inboard uh, power tube, out of your uh, V4 position. Uh, nice, not too shabby. I like what I'm seeing. So let's um let's get some controls set up. You know what I might do here? Let me um all right set up to run a sine wave. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do a triangle today. Run a hundred hertz triangle wave through the input here. So it'll give us some harmonics where we can actually listen to the variance of the uh, the lower end of the tone controls. So we can see if uh, if that spectrum is being impacted. Everything's working fine. Let's get her going. Here we go. That's what I like. All right. Nice. Bright switch. All right. Treble. Nice. Bass. Nice. 
place. Middle. Awesome. Perfect presence. Like it. No noise here. Perfect. Awesome. Let's get a clean sine wave. And then we'll move over to the overdrive channel. We'll go to uh, channel switching. Let's see. We have drive and more drive. Accessible. Awesome. Awesome. I'm just going to put a little bit of um, adhesive foam on top of your reverb tank just to quell any oscillations or um, annoying feedback from being so close to the driver. Whoop! Looking good, buddy. Look at that guy. She's home. Get you a little audio sample soon. Bye. Extremely happy about how this came out. I was even able to remove a lot of the stains from your grill cloth. I think I covered the electronic restoration pretty well, but just from a physical standpoint, she cleaned up really nicely. All right, Jeet, your Hot Rod Deluxe is ready for pickup. Woo! Again, I'm gonna give you an audio sample, but uh, for you goons out there who don't know, it's gonna be sloppy because I, can't really bend my left index finger, which is a shame because I had a tendon repair on it. So I'll just do my best. This is a static background noise, which is next to nothing. I love it. Single coil guitar, gonna roll it up. You got some of that and I'll change position. It will kind of come and go like a ghost in the night. Just some pickup positions there. sound. iPhone will be clipping, I'm sure. It's on six, which is ungodly loud, as you guys who have any uh, hot rod family experience would know. Spectacular. Try some overdrive. 
That's nice. That was delicious. And nutritious. Try channel switch. Bring up to about the same. Go uh, about 50% on the drive. Should be about right. Little hiss. Not too bad. That's my uh, single coils. See there. So loud. down to two and a half now there's more drive single coils keep that in mind noisy tubes but they're performing really well lots of life left so if you want to do a little uh tone tweak and you can roll some preamp tubes through there and see if you can tailor some of the overdrive tones so but otherwise good lord my ears are ringing hope you guys are well out there bye bye <laughs> 